Hello, my friends, and welcome to random YouTube video that uh that I'm making for you guys because um, it uh, it's been a very weird week, as I'm sure all you guys are aware of, and it's just it's really bizarre that the only way I've communicated with you guys has been through Canvas. Um, not a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I really miss uh, watching Macbeth with you guys in class, talking about the play with you guys every day. Um, so, you know, it, it's just, it hasn't been awesome, but you guys have been doing a great job, so keep up the good work, and, um, I just hope you guys are hanging in there. Um, if there's anything I can help with, or if you just want to reach out and, uh, you know, just, uh, let me know how things are going in your life, feel free to. Um, it's just, a, like I said, weird, hard situation for everyone, um, you guys included, of course, so. Just hang in there and and keep doing a great job. Um, and it's really all we can do. Um, but I did want to just um, create this little video for you guys to do a quick recap of Act 3 before we move on to Act 4 of Macbeth. Um, so I'll just briefly go over some of the main things that happened, some of the questions that you guys have worked on, and then, um, and then leave you with, uh, with a little mini assignment to do today that you can submit to Canvas for some credit. Um, so in Act 3, um, we've seen, uh, well, a couple major things happen. Um, we've seen Banquo get killed, and then Banquo's ghost come back to haunt Macbeth in what is one of the best scenes in this entire play. Um, but just to go over a few questions, um, we know that Macbeth is actually, uh, he's not doing well mentally. Um, we find out that um, he's having horrible dreams, um, that uh, that voice he heard about sleep no more seems to be coming true. He can't sleep at night because of his dreams. Um, he says his mind is full of scorpions. He says, oh, Duncan, well, he's lucky because he's, he's dead. He's peace. He's at peace in his grave. Meanwhile, we have to suffer um, with our guilt, everything we've done. So not a great mental state for Macbeth. Um, Macbeth tries to kill uh, both. Well, he successfully gets Banquo killed, but... Fleance gets away, and that's a huge problem because um, one of the reasons Macbeth wants to kill Banquo is because he's upset that about that prophecy that Banquo's kids are going to become kings, so he needed to kill not just Banquo, but his son. But his son got away. So, not a good situation for Macbeth. Um, and then we get this uh, great scene with um, Banquo's ghost, quote-unquote, appearing at this uh, dinner. Um, which is all kind of ironic because the dinner was in honor of Banquo, um, so it's it just shows you know what a good guest he is. He shows up anyway, even when he's dead. Um, just kidding. Clearly, Macbeth is hallucinating. Um, his guilt is driving him to the point of insanity. Um, nobody else can see this quote unquote ghost. Um, so, from the perspective of Lady Macbeth and the all the thanes that are at that dinner, Macbeth looks like he's he's gone insane. And, and maybe he has. Um, so these thanes, and, and we saw in the very last scene how they uh, are, are they're talking sarcastically about oh, all these people are just getting murdered. Uh, I guess bad luck, right? No, they they, they know that Macbeth uh, has done these things, and the question is, you know, will they turn against him? Right? We know that um, Malcolm is in England trying to get reinforcements to, to fight Macbeth. We know that Macduff has gone to help him out to join him. Um, will the Thanes also turn against Macbeth? Well, maybe seeing him go crazy, he, they have a mad king on their hands, uh, maybe that'll motivate them, but um, we'll see what happens. Um, in the past, we used to actually show you guys four or five different versions of the scene and have you write about which version is the best. Unfortunately, it's way too complicated to do online, um, so we'll just have to move on from here. Um, but uh, if you're interested, check out some of the other versions of this ghost scene. Uh, they're really, really cool and imaginative and scary. Um, yeah, I can't do it this year, though, um, sadly. Um, but before we move on to Act 4, which will start on Tuesday, um, after you guys watch this video, I just want you to submit um, little bullet points, let's say five bullet points, uh, predictions you have um, that that will happen in Act 4 and five, right? So we know that Macbeth is going to see the witches again. Um, do you have any predictions about what might happen there? We know about Macduff and Malcolm. Um, so think about some of the individual characters. You know, what do you think will happen to Macbeth? What do you think will happen to Lady Macbeth? Um, um, what do you think will happen in the plot? Um, 
any anything is fair game at this point. Um, but just think, what, what do you think is going to happen? I'm curious to see what you guys are thinking. Um, but that's it for my review video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please stay in touch. Please keep doing the great work you're doing. And uh, we'll just continue to communicate through Canvas. Um, send me messages if you need help with anything. And uh, yeah, miss seeing you guys in class. But hang in there. Things will get better. And um, yeah, thanks, guys. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.